Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and we're looking at Artflow Sketch Paint Draw from Artflow Studio. Um, you probably guessed it, it's a uh, sketching and drawing painting uh, app, and uh, it's fairly new. And it's um, what I really like about it is it's very simple for the novice, but it does offer a lot of robust features uh, for the pro. Um, it's a very simple interface, and um, and it, it, like I said, for anyone from kids all the way up to the uh, to to the uh, sketching pro uh, can use this app. So let's just go in. The, the, men, the menu is very simple. The interface is very simple. This is where you would draw, and there are basically two menus to work with on either side, and that's where you're going to do most of your stuff. Now over here is where uh, you would keep uh, the ones that, you know your works of art as we call it um, and uh, actually in both of these works of art um, one is my niece did and one uh, the talk Andrew one I did I actually traced them over images which I'll show you is something that you can do with uh, with layers um, but you can also add a new one here by just going hitting the plus and so this is a new slate for drawing and I just kind of show you some of the features now I, I am far from an artist so don't expect anything major here I'm just going to show you the ins and outs and how to use the uh, app now this is the uh, paintbrush tool right here and you can select uh, various thicknesses now I'm using a Galaxy Note 10.1 by the way with the S Pen of course you can use your finger um, this isn't designed specifically for the Galaxy Note 10.1 but it works very well with it so um, you can, like I said, there's different sizes here that you can select, and then you can also fine tune as well. And you can also uh, move here as well without opening this window. Uh, and there are various uh, different uh, things like crayons and, and, and different types of brushes, a paint roller, and uh, so on. And uh, you can even have a favorite uh, setting as well, or different uh, favorites as well that you can set. So, Right now, I'll just go with the regular paintbrush, and uh, now over here, um, this is where you can select colors. Now, you you know, just like many apps, you can go down here and select any predefined colors that you want. And of course, you can also tap here as well and try to fine tune it, and you can also move the bars. Another thing you can do is use the eyedropper uh, to uh, test your color. So, um, and so if you have, so if say we go with yellow here and I draw this and I switch back to here and go here now let's just say this isn't a, a regular stock color it's an image that you called up um, you know obviously you can just select it from down here but assuming it's not you can go in with the eyedropper, eyedropper and just select it right there and you can see it's changed so that works uh, very well um, now this option here with the hand, I'm not sure what you call it, I guess it's a feathering option, but let me just give you a, show you a line and show you what that does. Uh, this here uh, will let you fine tune, I guess, a, a feathering type of thing, and uh, kind of like a, you can make clouds or an animal animal's fur, and then you can also adjust things here. So basically if I go in here, I can kind of like push it around and uh, get that kind of an effect. Um, of course, you have um, a f uh, an eraser, and you can change the sizes of that. And let me just draw a circle here to show you the paint fill. Make sure I fill that. Um, let's just change the color, and let's do paint fill. Uh, of course, you tap in there, and that fills up. Those are, you know, those are the basics that many people, um, you know, your average person can do, and you know, have fun with it, and you know, fine tune different things. Um, you got, of course, you have your sharing option here as well, and of course, this here uh, is the menu uh, to get to all your different works. Now, over here, you can get involved with layers. Um, and adding an image and just you know adding layers and I believe depending on the tablet you can have um, I may be wrong on this but I think it's like 7 to 16 layers all depends on the hardware I guess um, this here will also um, erase everything uh, you also have an undo forgot to mention that undo and you can have a lot of undo so you can undo back like many many um, 
many times in the past. Um, you have uh, also, uh, you can go full screen here, and then you can do in, uh, add some effects like grayscale and stuff. And like I mentioned, uh, you can um, add um, layers as well with the plus key. Now, let's go ahead and bring in, I'm going to bring in an image like I did with that, uh, with uh, the Talk Android. I actually traced that. So I'm going to go and you can actually bring it from your gallery or Dropbox. I'm going to bring it into Dropbox and um, we'll go ahead and there it is. So that's the image itself. Now, if I go over here, they actually put the image over this layer. I can go ahead and flick that layer away. Whoops, there we go. And now I can go ahead and add a layer on top of this. And you can also add a duplicate layer with the next one below. So now I'll go ahead and draw on this layer so I can go ahead and trace it. And um, so if I want, I can go ahead and... Um, oh, I wasn't in the... Um, whoops, I was in the fill. Uh, the good news is there, I show you the undo, which works out very well. And there you go, there's the paintbrush. And uh, I'll just go ahead and use the color blue. Of course, I can use the ink dropper uh, to grab any colors I want. And let's just say, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly draw this A. So, basically, there's my A there, and I can actually go in here and... Uh, remove that layer and there it is so I can draw the whole thing of course I can undo that and bring back uh, that layer and continue drawing the other thing that you can do is also zoom in and zoom out so I can go in like this to get more fine tuning and drawing and um, let me show you the uh, and you can also move it around um, show you the eyedropper tool uh, in a real life color situation and of course this is a you know there's different shades here but let's just say I want to grab this color right here uh, I'm all set and then I can color in so um, and right there that's the match of that color so you can see there's just a lot of um, cool things that you can do with this it's just a really fun uh, sketching program um, I had my niece uh, doing this one here, a picture of her dog actually, because I was showing it over the weekend, and uh, she was doing a, unfortunately the picture came in sideways the way it was sent uh, to us or whatever, but anyway, so she was drawing it sideways, there's a dog on the wooden floor there, it's hard to really tell, but um, that's pretty much, you know, w the things that you can do and have fun with. Um, we're going to be taking a road trip um, a pretty good road trip in a couple weeks and um, my son is definitely gonna have fun with this uh, in the car uh, on the way down to Virginia Beach for sure there's just a lot of drawing he's four years old but like I said from any from age uh, three all the way up to whatever um, you can have fun with this do some some really cool sketches and drawing and there just is a lot of different um, things that you can do in different effects so um, now the app is free and I don't have all the particulars, but you're limited in, in the amount of layers that you can have and the amount of tools. I believe the purchase price is $4.99 to get the full-blown uh, thing. You can look at our article uh, on the site to get the particulars on what exactly comes with the free version versus the paid. You can do it. You can get the paid version. Um, you can do it in in-app purchase, and it's tied to your Gmail account, so you'll have it on any device. So, uh, and this is specifically for tablets. Um, but if you get another tablet or whatever, uh, you will have it. You don't have to repurchase it or anything like that. So it's called Artflow Sketch Paint and Draw. It's in the Play Store. It's, it's new. It's only been out for, I believe, a week or a couple of weeks now. And um, give it a shot. Give it a shot uh, f at no charge. And then um, if it uh, seems like something that you like, you can always grab the uh, rest of it for four ninety nine. dollars And uh, that's about it. So thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.